Hello everyone, welcome back to On The Fly. Today we'll be taking a look at day one of the Women's World Championship happening in Utica, USA. So that being said, it was another great day of action today with a, quite a few blowouts as well as sort of a bit of a head turn with the game with the checks, but we'll get to that in just a bit as we'll jump in right away here with the scores from today's games. Starting off with Sweden beating Denmark 3-1 to and in this game, it was one of those games where, you know, it was... A tight game at the end of the day but really when we looked at what actually happened in that game it was never close to begin with Denmark had no offense you can see the one goal that was because the Swedish goaltender fired the puck into one of the girls skates finally put in the back of the net really should not have been a goal in the first place but quote back to that Steve Dangle quote if you're a goaltender tend the goal that's really the storyline of this game for the Swedes the Swedes dominated from start to finish. Denmark really looked on their heels. We'll see what they're up to, especially as we sort of move along in this tournament. They're going to have to find their game in hopes of not being sent back down. They're the team that came up last year from the Division 1A. So we'll see this time whether or not they can finally find their way. And in that sense, when we look at it, Sweden played a heck of a game today. We'll see if they can continue that throughout this tournament, especially when we saw them in that game. I found them really to find their way. They've played a really dominant style. They played their sort of trap style, which is where they need to be, especially against some of these top higher end teams. If they want any shot at making their way back into Group A. Time will tell, of course. But with that being said, as we're talking about Group A, we'll move it along here to one of the probably sort of a head turn of a, of a game today between the Czechs and the Finns. And this we sort of talked about this in the preview and there was one of those storylines, right? When we saw it, the Czechs coming in, they looked really, really good on paper this year. The Finns were a team that I thought were pretty good too until we saw them on the ice today and the Czechs looked like the far superior team. And when we look at it, I mean, we saw it with the US today, they sort of found their way. We'll get to them in a second. But the Czechs, man, were they ever good. And, they, and you could just see it. They played with that style where, you know, we're going to beat you and we're going to do it our way. The Finns looked on their heels the entire game. So we'll see, you know, especially the Finns need a big bounce back game. They'll play tomorrow against Canada. will be a tough test. But when we look at it, you know, the Czechs look really good. I'm really looking forward to seeing that Czech-US game. I think when we look at it, that on paper, especially the US today looked pretty aggressive at times. And they really didn't look quite to what they should be. But at the same time, the Czechs looked amazing today. They played a full 60, and we'll see if they can keep that going. As for the Finns, you know, tough game today. We'll see if they can bounce back tomorrow against Canada. And I think when we look at it, they probably will have a better game. Just sort of getting that rust off, obviously coming off of a little bit of break before they haven't really played with each other in a while. There's going to be a little bit of that rust, especially when it comes to the high stakes. Shouldn't be too much of a surprise, but at the same time, you know, the Czechs played a heck of a game. They're a team that I'm really looking for, looking towards to really move far in this tournament, and we'll see what they do in that. Then we'll take a look at the final game from today, and this one was really the story of a goaltending show with Andre Brand Brandley who just stood on her head all game long. 4 nothing was your final, but at the same time, this game should have been a lot more. There was one goal that was disallowed, so if you want to call it that, that's 5 nothing. But at the end of the day, this game was very, very, not tight, but at the same time, the U.S. right off the top, you know, they took a bad penalty. They seemed really aggressive early on, sort of reckless, if you want to call it that. Jumping on plays that they really shouldn't be trying to jump on, and Switzerland just couldn't quite capitalize on it. They had their chances, especially early. And then from there on out, the U.S. dominated, played more what that U.S. game we were uh, more so expecting. So we'll see what they can do, especially, you know, that second and third period. If they can continue that and play that against any other team in Group A, minus Canada, maybe, they, they'll do just fine in this tournament. But at the same time, you know, that that if they're going to play that first period against a team like Canada, a team like the Czechs, a team like the Finns, where they have that sort of finish finishing touch that you're looking for, it is going to be a tough game for the U.S. As for the Swiss, you know, it's a tough match of having to play the U.S. in their first game. In my opinion, they look pretty good. Obviously, they couldn't really find their ice as much as they would have liked to. But at the same time, they had a lot of good looks, in my opinion. All of their shots seem to be pretty good scoring chances for the most part. Definitely had their looks, just couldn't finish, especially early on. You know, if they bury that, that one right off the top, it might be a different game. Stahler and Mueller 
both had opportunities early on in the game, just couldn't quite find the back of the net. And that was really the turning point of that game. From there on out, the U.S. dominated, and that's your final 4 to nothing. We take a look at the news from today. Really nothing too exciting. I mean, there's a sweet victory for the Swedes. You know, they, they played a heck of a game today. For Denmark, another rough start. Obviously, they're going to have to sort of pick up their game to avoid relegation. For the Finns, it really can only go up at this point, right? When you look at it, uh, it's, a t it's a tough start to have to play, you know, one of those teams that you're sort of matched up against and getting shut out. 4 nothing, 2 nothing, 2 empty net goals. So with that being said, you know, for the Czechs, they played a great game today. Serious star courses, definitely a team to watch at this tournament. They will sneak up on a lot of teams. They're playing a very solid style of hockey, especially as a nation that's not quite as skilled as some of the other teams. That's what you're looking for. And we saw it, you know, we look back on the last couple of tournaments, you know, if it was the World Juniors, right? When Canada quite literally got upset by the Czechs because of the same style that they're playing today. Definitely a team to look for. As for the U.S., dominant, especially in the second and third. If they can keep that up, they'll do just fine in this tournament. And lastly, for Switzerland, the Andre Brandelis show. Of course, this is probably one of those moments, especially for her, to sort of just look back and say, yeah, you know, you put the team on your back as best you could. Unfortunately, the result wasn't what you're looking for. But, you know, if she can play like that for the rest of this tournament, she will do just fine. We'll now take a look at the standings here. There's not too many games going on today quite yet, but with the U.S. in first, Czechs in first as well, as well as Switzerland and Finland both in last. And then Canada is in the third spot for Group A. Group B, remember the bottom two teams get knocked out for relegation no matter what. And also, if we remember back to the preview, the top six teams at the end of this tournament will make it to the Olympics. So a lot to play for, especially for those in Group B. Right now, Sweden's in first, Denmark's in last, and the other three teams have yet to play. So definitely stay tuned. Lots of games coming. We'll have all the situations break, broken down for you. But with that being said, we'll move on to the schedule for tomorrow's games. We have a, a, a really interesting game between China and Japan at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. My opinion, that's going to be a really, really good game to watch, and I'd highly recommend it. It is a game that you're likely going to see to sort of more or less be the end result of where Group B situates itself. So for China, must win game. Japan, must win game. Both those teams are definitely looking to try and make their way into the Olympics. Most of the time, and when we look at it sort of in the in the standings wise, that top six means if you can make it to the top of Group B, you're in a really good spot and we'll see if they can do that. As well, Germany and Denmark coming up at 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern Daylight Time as well. I, I gotta say, the way Denmark played today, Germany should roll over them, but at the same time, you know, Denmark is going to have a little bit of a fire under their butt to really sort of find their way. And I have no doubt, you know, Denmark's going to bounce back tomorrow and, and sort of give G the Germans a little bit of a rough ride. And we'll, we'll see sort of what goes on there. My opinion, the favorite in this game is definitely Germany and Japan. I, I'm going to take in that top game as well. And lastly, the headliner game for the night between Canada and Finland. I mean, it's hard to bet against Canada in this one, but at the same time, you know, the Finns disappointing result against the Czechs. They'll come out with a fire. We'll see what's going on there. But with that being said, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you're realizing you're subscribing, tell all your friends and comment down below your thoughts on day one of the Women's World Championship. Until next time.